Well, we don't have to wait long to see them right now. It is time for the uh, Compound Men's Bronze Medal match. Chris, uh, tell us about our lineup. Target number one from Estonia, Robin Yatma defeated top seed Mike Schlusser in the quarterfinals at this event in Nimes. He's facing on target number two, Nicolas Girard. Uh, he made the final last year at this event. Lost to Braden Galantine, very successful archer from the States, won Nimes very time. Fantastic for him to be back again in this finals arena one year on. certainly is came out the wrong side of a shoot off in the semi-finals against his teammate Gontier uh, did Nicolas Gerard but it is now time for end number one Nicolas Girard just getting himself ready there. Great start. Matched by Robin Yatma. Called a nine, very close. Very close to the 10 ring. I wonder if that will get measured. So 28 called for Girard. And a perfect start for Robin Yatma. He will take the first two set points. And it looked like uh, it was a little bit of a slow start from Nicolas Girard. It didn't look like he was ready, Chris, at the beginning. <laughs> Nicolas, not, not too experienced in the finals arena, but again, last time he was there was, was one year ago in Nîmes. His debut in a stage like this is a little more pomp and circumstance around competing in the arena as opposed to competing in the normal eliminations which they've been doing up until now and obviously in the current climate with the COVID restrictions even more uh, movements even more things to know what to do got to get comfortable out there yeah he certainly does have to get comfortable out there he's trailing by uh, two set points after the first set it's time for set number two Well, end two here with uh, Girard trailing. He will shoot first. Both starting very well again. Both on for perfect scores here in this second end. Just clipping the line, and that is a 30 for Nicolas Gerard. And a second perfect score for Robin Yatma. Uh, it is enough to share the points and maintain his two. Well, Chris, uh, a great start from Yatma, but one thing that is quite interesting here is the... the um, uh, the, the, the release at the end for Yatma, he kind of pulls himself away from, from the uh, bow. It's just how his body sets up. I mean, there's a lot of force in that compound bow. Starts drawing at about 60 pounds. He'll be holding about 20 pounds at aim. 
when it releases a huge amount of force and power, uh, leaves with the arrow and his body is set up in a way that it, it reacts. It did look like on that last arrow who steered his arrow a bit to the right, landed on the right of the 10. Still a two-point lead heading into this third end. Yeah, maintained his two-point lead that he got in the first end. It's now time for end number three. Marked as a nine. I suspect that could get marked up, though. It looks very, very close to the line. Uh, Girard, no question there. He's found the centre of the target. That uh, is his fifth ten in a row. So a second perfect score, an 88 for Nicolas Gerard. Well, that's currently being marked as a 29. Chris, your thoughts on that very first arrow from Robin Yatma? Now, all the arrow has to do is break that, that black line of the two centimeter 10 ring. And I think he's done so then. A perfect nine arrows after nine arrows of this goal, a bronze medal match in Nimes. We saw Jabba do something similar when we had the Invitational Volant to start the Indoor Archery World Series season. He ran Mike Schlusser, almost perfect, almost all the way through that match, but just struggled in the last end. See if he can hold it together in this one. Yeah, interesting to see what comes back uh, from the target judge, it looks like it is Nicolas Girard going to shoot first in end number four. So Girard still trailing. But he has found at the middle of the target. So Yatma has to stay on point here. Now that's a definite nine. Opportunity abounds for Nicolas Gerard here. Second arrow subject to a measure for Yatman. He made a little adjustment. And it's another 30 for Nicolas Gerard. Right in the center of the target for Robin Yatmar. The second arrow is going to be subject to a measure currently marked as a 28, but this could go up to a 29. Chris, your thoughts? Yeah, I think it'll be a 29 for Robert Yatmar, but it's a definite 30 for, for Nicolas Girard. All he can do now is shoot those 30s and hope Robin drops points. It's easy to chase when you're in a compound medal match because there's nothing else you can do. If you don't, if you don't hit the middle, you've got no chance of winning. Robin's got all the pressure on in this, in this final end. He's got the advantage and he's got to keep it through three arrows. Yeah, so by our count, we've got Yatma leading 119 to 118. And uh, you could see the target judge uh, having a very close look at those two nines from Yatma. We think one will get marked up and one will stay as a nine. But the hunt is fully on for Nicola Gerard as we go into the fifth and final end. Gerard will shoot first, and he's got to put down some big scores and put some nerves in the 19-year-old Estonian opponent. Well, 
got the nerves starting to show on both archers. But back in the middle for the Estonian and increases his lead. Just clipping the line, so a 146 for Gerard. Big opportunity to take the bronze here in Nîmes for Robin Yatma. And he is in the middle of the target. It's a 148 plays 146. And it's the 19-year-old Robin Yatma who has taken the compound men's bronze. Well, Chris, another big wobble in that match uh, for Robin Yatma, but he just about clung on and, and pulled it all together at the end. Uh, 148 in, a, in an arena is, is nothing to sniff at at all. Nicola Girard did everything right after those first two nines in the first end until we got to the last end and he just couldn't keep the pressure on. Had an opportunity to come back, but Robin Jabba, well-deserved win in this compound men's bronze medal match in Nimes. Great performance, as Chris said, a 148 out of a 150 is a phenomenal score, especially after such a period without normal competition Robin Yatma will be on the podium a little bit later on today, collecting his bronze medal. And we take a look back over the match. And look, it wasn't too bad from uh, Nicolas Gerard either, was it, Chris? He, he shot very well. Yeah, outside of the first end and the last end, he was, he was great. He didn't miss the middle. You know, a nervy start is... is, is you know, can be expected if, if you haven't uh, had experience in the finals arena and, and after this uh, 12 months of hiatus from competition but but the critical thing was at the, at the end when he had the opportunity to keep the pressure on and, and at least force a shoot off he put those first two arrows of, of the fifth into the nine as well and and uh, that just sunk him 